Hello again, my friends. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion. And if you remember, we're not in the United States anymore. That is awesome. I think I'm going to head off to uh, catch one of the trams now. I want to try one of those old 20s trams. Oh, what a great storefront. Now here's some of the tiling. I just love this kind of stuff. And that's a really good example of what I like. Take a look at that. Edith Piaf. And a little tip, beware of pickpockets. Put your hand out of my pockets. Well, now I guess we have to take this little curving road down. Which I'm not going to complain about. What a great view. Oh yeah. What a wall. What a wall, what a wall, what a wall. Whoa, check out Club Noir. You know my rule, put a top hat on anything and it looks good to me. All right, I just picked up some killer postcards for some of you guys. Thank you for contributing to this trip. Let's take a look at this graffiti alley. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Felix! I'm almost amazed they didn't graffiti that. Wow, this totally caught me off guard. I was not looking for this on my way down here. Very cool though. I love this stuff. Look at the mosaic on this. Well, you know me, I'm a sucker for hidden stairways and walkways and everything else because I like to see what's hidden. I guess I'm just curious by nature. Oh, an outdoor grill, I guess. <laughs> Wonder if that's for the uh, people in the alley or the neighborhood or what. Alright, I'm going to find that tram if I... It's the last thing I do. <laughs> Actually, I think I want to go eat. All right, so it's 2.45 p.m. and I'm having my first meal of the day, a coffee and basically a buffet. And I'm probably lucky that they're even open because most places close down around this time until the evening. So finally have some food and then I promise you I'm getting on that train. <laughs> Okay, so whatever that is is really good. It's like a beef, almost like a beef stroganoff, but you, um, but it's all one breast or like one patty kind of deal, whatever it is. I guess beef doesn't really come in breast, does it? But I don't know, whatever it is, it's good. I'll tell you, I haven't had a bad meal yet in Lisbon um, since I've been here, and the people have been absolutely amazing, so I love it so far. Everything in Portugal has been great. All right, the food's done. Now I'm gonna try two little pieces of dessert. And I'm done. So the one on the right, the yellow one, is kind of coconut flavored. And then the one on the left is strawberry flavored. I really like the strawberry one the best. Wow. Lunch was great. And then I just stumbled into this. Look at all the fountains. I love this stuff. And there's more. Lots more. All right, beautiful. All right, our ride begins now. And now we have one chasing us. Well, I 
I just randomly got off at any old stop and I just found this statue of St. Vincent. And one honey of a view. Something about being up here reminds me of when I was in Capri a couple of months ago. I mean, other than the tuk-tuks everywhere, this feels like the same square and area and everything where it started in Naples was filmed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, beautiful. Oh, look at that mural. Well, we're not in Rome anymore, but apparently the same Kenyans are here selling the same bracelets, and since I broke mine, I bought a new one. Very cool. Now let's see what's in this little tunnel. I see some sort of art. series of political movements by this man. So much. He was a fascist conservative. Yes, he had a reasonable relationship. Oh yes. Mundo Jurassico. We're going to take it one more time. Now we're going to head over to something called Rossio Square. It has a really amazing fountain that I want to check out. Alright, well I definitely feel at home when I see Dracula. We're getting there. Well, what's a bummer is they actually have two fountains, one down here and a bookended one down here and both of them are turned off right now. I don't know why. I mean all I can figure out is that maybe it's the time of the day because one of the fountains I've already filmed in this vlog, I just passed it and they shut that water off too so I don't know what's going on. I'm sure just by looking at this you can imagine how majestic this would be when the water's turned on. Have no fear. We'll be back over in this part of the city more times on this trip, so I'm sure at some point I'll catch this turned on in all its glory. And then at the very top of this statue is Pedro the Fourth. Let me swap lenses and we'll take a closer look. By the way, are you not tripping out over this tile? How cool is that? And of course, things like this. I live for seeing things like this, just randomly. Looks like a home for birds right now. What? Let's swap that lens. Right now. Sorry gang, the backlighting isn't going to help us out too much on this one, but... I'm hanging around a little bit in this square for a while. I'm just hoping that magically these fountains will kick on, but let's go look at the other one we haven't seen yet. All right, let's go check out the, uh, the fountain over here. I think somebody's trying to sell me cocaine again off to the side. Yeah, you probably saw that in the other vlog, but almost every time you come to one of these squares, people come up to you and start trying to offer you drugs. Come on, turn on. Turn on! I thought for sure that would work. Okay, uh, abracadabra turn on. Oh, dude, we gotta go in this. Mundo Fantastica da Sardina Portuguesa? Looks like a fun house. Whoa! So it's actually a sardine shop that decorates their sardine cans like this and you can actually buy your birth year and things like that on the cans. That's a pretty inventive way to sell sardines, I'll tell you that. I almost want to buy some just for as cool as this place is. So if you see, look at that carousel, there's cans of sardines down there and then they have a photo op right here. You can do a steampunk hat photo right there in that chair. This might be one of the coolest theme stores I've ever seen. See, look at all the different years you can buy. This guy's up here fishing. 
And look at where you pay. That is totally neato. Well, there's my birth year right there. Those of you who are wondering. Almost 37 here in about a month. My concern is I don't know if you're allowed to take this stuff back and I don't like sardines so I don't want to eat them. I feel like I'm in Willy Wonka except for sardines. That was totally worth the trip in here. So when we walked in and I mispronounced Sardina, I thought that was a, I thought that was the country. And then, you know, it turns out to be sardines. <laughs> Way cool place. Now I'm off to find something called the Santa Justa Lift. Looks pretty cool online, so I want to check it out. Check out this guy. Look at that little cameraman. That's awesome. Well, there's the lift. Basically gives you a pretty good view of the city. And here's the line, but I think I want to do it. Wait time, 30 minutes. And I think that's how you exit once you get up there. It just walks you across. So apparently they also call this the Karma Lift. And it's been, it was actually opened in 1900. So over a hundred year old lift. We're getting close. All right, we got it. I think we're close. All right, we're in here. That was quick. Now I'm going to go up these stairs and get the highest look. Alright, we came all the way up the stairs, which you know I hate, to get a great view. Look, the fountains still aren't on down there. What a great view of the city. All the way up there at the top is St. George's Castle where we were at the other day. All right, time to head back down. All right, that was totally worth coming up here, don't you think? Look at all the locks too. All the young love. Now I wanna to go to the square that's dedicated to the Portuguese poet we saw the grave of the other day. So the district we're leaving is called Carmo. That's why they call that there. Carmo lift also. Wow, not our destination, but that is amazing. That is all tile work up there. Look at that. Holy Christmas, that's great. This is not our statue, but this one's amazing as well. The one that we're looking for is actually over there. There's our statue. And there he is. Luis de Camoas, Camo. That's a great one too. Oh, look at that tile work right below it. That's a good one too. There's a little bit better view of him. Well gang, it's been a long day and I hope you enjoyed everything you saw. We got to see quite a lot and tomorrow we're going to actually take off from Lisbon. We're going to go to Porto, hang out there for a while, go somewhere else for a while and then eventually we'll be back to Lisbon and we'll probably spend another day or two here checking out the site. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great night. We'll see you all later and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Goodbye. I don't want to sound